Hey guys, welcome to Southern Gal True Crime. We feature missing persons, cold cases, and more. And today, sorry, my pad is going crazy. Anyway, today I have a the um, bizarre crime of the week, and this is absolutely bizarre, absolutely sickening, and you just have to hear it to believe it. Um. It happened in about the end of April. Um, like I said, it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. But before we get to that, as always, um, we have our featured missing person. And today, our missing person is Kiara Bennett. Um, she's a 17-year-old white female. She is 5 foot 6 inches tall, 160 pounds, with brown eyes and blue hair. Now, the picture that I have here, um, she has, looks like brownish colored hair, so the hair color could be different. Um, she went missing on January 2nd of, uh, this year, so just a little bit over four months ago, from Luxora, Arkansas. Now, I had to look up Luxora because I've never heard of it. Um, it's up in the northeast, um part of the state on the um, Arkansas-Tennessee border. Um, if you have any information about Kiara or would like um, more information about her case, you can contact the uh, Mississippi County Sheriff's Department at 870-762-2243. So please, um, I will put a link to this in the description box. Um, please share it to help get um, this information out to the public um, because that is the primary goal of my little channel here is to get the word out about our missing persons and our cold cases. But like I said today, I have the bizarre crime of the week. So, let me find my article. Come on. All right, and this is from THV11.com, and it is from April 29th of this year. And as you can see the headline, Arkansas woman accused of selling, I'm going to be careful about how I word this because I don't want Facebook to flag the video. Arkansas woman accused of selling body parts via Facebook Messenger arrested. Told you. Bizarre. Candace Scott, 36, of Little Rock, was arrested on April 28th without bond. She has been charged with mail fraud, wire fraud, among others. And we will get to the others. All right. An Arkansas woman has been indicted on charges relating to allegedly selling body parts over Facebook to a man in Pennsylvania. The man was identified last year as Jeremy Pauley, 40, who was charged after East Pennsboro Township Police executed a search warrant when a caller reported that Pauley had buckets of skin and organs in his basement, according to documents obtained by our Pennsylvania affiliate WPMT. So this guy bought body parts and stored them in his basement. Now what he was going to do with his body parts, I don't even want to go there. I don't want to know. And I know that there are... Well, mostly the stuff that I've seen are um, people who collect um, true crime memorabilia, such as um, stuff from serial killers, letters, drawings, things of that nature. But somebody buying body parts, I have never really heard of until now. And I... Honestly, wish I hadn't 
heard about this, but we shall move on. During the course of the investigation, police were able to determine that Polly allegedly purchased remains from Candace Scott, a woman in Arkansas, over Facebook Messenger. Those messages showed Scott had sold Polly several remains for $4,000, including um, a head, a half a head, a whole head minus the skull cap, um, three brains with skull caps, a heart, a liver, a lung, two kidneys, a female pelvis, and a torso, including a nipple, and four hands. Now, as I said, I don't even want to start imagining what why he wanted these items in the first place and what he planned to do with them. I will let y'all make um, your own judgments. So if you have any ideas, please leave a comment. Just keep it, keep it civilized um, as much as possible. I know this is a bizarre story, but... Hmm. The parts were shipped and sent to Polly by U.S. Postal Service, police say. According to Pennsylvania investigators, Arkansas authorities discovered Scott was stealing the remains from a mortuary owned by the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences, or UAMS, and sending them to Polly to be resold. So apparently he was going to sell these parts to other people. I'm telling you, this is just horrifying. The remains belong to um, the, uni the University of Arkansas document state. Polly allegedly admitted to buying the items from Scott and reselling them on Facebook for profit. That is just even worse. Good Lord in heaven, what is this world coming to? Polly has been charged with abuse of a corpse, re receiving stolen property, and dealing in proceeds of unlawful activities. UAMS released the following statement. We have a contract with Arkansas Central Mortuary, Mortuary Services to take the bodies for cremation after they are no longer being used by our students. An employee of the mortuary service is under investigation by federal authorities for taking some remains from the mortuary that were donated to UAMS. We are saddened and appalled that this has happened. Absolutely. And I think appalled is putting it mildly. Hmm. On Friday, April 28th, Scott was arrested without bond. She is being charged with mail fraud, wire fraud, and interstate transportation of stolen property, among other charges. Alright. And I have a picture of Miss Candace Scott here. And wait till you see Mr. Polly, the person who bought these parts. Now, I have never been one to judge people by appearances but when i saw the picture of this person i i uh, you'll just get ready i'm fixing to show you a picture of him in a three two one mm -hmm. yes that is what this gentleman looks like Let's just take this in, or not. Um, after this, I'll probably have to go watch some cute puppy and, and uh, kitty videos to get this image out of my head. All right. So, I also have an article. Let me find it. Of what happened to miss scott after she was arrested all right oh, come on 
Alright, and this also comes from THV11.com. Psych evaluation ordered for Arkansas woman accused of selling body parts. Well, you think she's got some problems? Absolutely. An Arkansas woman arrested for the alleged sale of stolen parts has been ordered to have a psych evaluation before her jury trial on May 30th. An Arkansas woman arrested for the alleged sale of stolen body parts has been ordered to have a psych evaluation. She pleaded not guilty to charges that she sold 20 boxes of stolen parts from medical school cadavers to a Pennsylvania man for nearly $11,000. 36-year-old Candace Chapman Scott was ordered to have a psych evaluation at a Bureau of Prisons medical facility. Once that is complete and both the counsel and court receive the evaluation report, the defendant can then proceed with her jury trial scheduled for May 30th. The April 5th indictment, unsealed Friday in federal court in Little Rock, accuses Candace Chapman Scott, a former mortuary worker, of setting up the transactions with a man she met through a Facebook group about oddities. Definitely oddities. And I wouldn't even categorize parts as oddities. I mean, that's just, that is way beyond what I would call oddities. And I'm into stuff you would call oddities, but not human body parts. That's, no, that's just, no. Nope, nope, nope. Scott, a Little Rock resident, pleaded not guilty to 12 counts, including conspiracy to commit mail fraud, mail fraud, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, wire fraud, conspiracy to commit interstate transportation of stolen property, and interstate transportation of stolen property. Scott is jailed with a hearing on whether she will be released on bail scheduled for Tuesday. A lawyer for Scott did not immediately answer an email seeking comment on Saturday. I wonder why. How would he, how he would justify his client selling parts? I would hate to have his job, but I'm sure he gets paid handsomely for it. The buyer is not identified in the federal indictment, but separate state charges in Pennsylvania name him as Jeremy Lee Pauley of Enola, Pennsylvania. Scott was employed at Arkansas Central Mortuary Services, where part of her job was to transport, cremate, and embalm remains. The University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences, or UAMS, um, in Little Rock has said that's has said that's where the medical school sent remains of cadavers, cadavers that have been donate, donated for medical students to examine. The indictment alleges Scott approached Polly in October 2021 and began offering to sell him remains from the medical school that the mortuary was supposed to cremate and return. And can you just imagine the families, so apparently after or these bodies were donated, you know, after they passed, they were donated to UAMS um, for, the, for the students to learn. And then apparently they cremate them and then return them to the family. What must be going through the family's minds when they found out that their loved one's remains had been sold as oddities. That, to me, is the worst part of this story. I cannot imagine how I would feel if I found out, found out that my loved one's parts had been sold to someone who just liked to collect body parts. That is just truly awful, appalling, horrifying, and every other word you can think of. 
just cannot imagine it. All right. The indictment alleges Scott approached Polly in October 2021 and began offering to sell him remains from the medical school that the mortuary was supposed to cremate and return. Just out of curiosity, would you know anyone in the market for a fully intact, embalmed brain? The indictment alleges Scott wrote to Polly in her first Facebook message. You have to be a seriously disturbed individual to write something like that, to ask something like that. Oh my goodness. All right, moving on. The indictment alleges that over the next nine months, Scott sold Polly, trigger warning, fetuses, brains, hearts, lungs, genitalia, large pieces of skin, and other parts. At one point, this is so awful, I, I almost don't want to read it. Another trigger warning. At one point, the indictment alleges Scott sold the remains of a fetus at a discount, writing, he's not in great shape. <sighs> really. That just infuriates me. So I'm not even, I'm going to move on. The indictment alleges Scott collected $10,978.16 separate PayPal transfers. Prosecutors argued that Scott should remain jailed until trial. You think she should never, ever see the light of day again, in my opinion. The Arkansas Democrat Gazette reported with Assistant U.S. Attorney Amanda Jigley telling U.S. Magistrate Judge J. Thomas Ray on Friday that Scott could be motivated to flee by the prospect of a long prison sentence. Mm -hmm. I think that the facts underlying the indictment and in the indictment are uniquely egregious, yes, and objectionable, and we believe there is going to be some significant public outcry as a result of this, Jigley said. Absolutely, there's going to be an outcry because this is just horrible. Ray said the alleged conduct, conduct is shocking and depraved, to put it mildly. But since Scott isn't alleged to be dangerous under federal rules, he's only supposed to order her jailed if she is a flight risk. <sighs> Pennsylvania officials discovered the scheme after they got complaints about Polly last year. Polly is charged in Pennsylvania with a misdemeanor count of abuse of a corpse, a felony count of receiving stolen property, a misdemeanor count of receiving stolen property, and a felony count of dealing in, proce dealing in proceeds of unlawful activities. Polly is free on bail. Why? That is my question. Why? Court records show his preliminary hearing, repeatedly delayed, is currently scheduled for June 7th. Leslie Taylor, a spokeswoman for the Medical University, told the Arkansas newspaper Friday that officials are grateful federal authorities charged Scott. Taylor called the people who donate their bodies for medical research true heroes and said that they are the largest victims in the crime because of the role the donations play in medical education. Taylor said the FBI has not told school officials if any of the remains have been identified. She said embalming damages DNA, making identification extremely difficult. So, some of these families may never know that this happened to their loved ones. I don't even know what to say about that. Very, very sad. Hopefully they can get all of them identified and, sorry, and notify the victim, victims because these poor people are victims. Um, 
and let them know what happened. I would not want to have to make that notification. All right. I think that is the end of the article. So, that is our bizarre, horrendous, awful crime of the week. I would love to know your thoughts on this. Just please, like I said, keep it civilized. Be respectful of each other, victims, victims' families, and so on. Okay. So, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you like what we do here at Southern Gale True Crime, please do subscribe before you leave. Uh, hit the bell so you get notifications of when I upload new videos. Um, I usually do, um, I probably do one, um, case a week. Um, probably, uh, most of the time it's an unsolved cold case. Um, or a missing, I'm sorry, I'm having problems with my back. Um, unsolved cold case, missing person, um. Most of my cases are from Arkansas, being as I am from Arkansas, and I want to get the word out in my little small corner of YouTube world um, about our missing persons and our cold cases. Alright, so everybody have a great weekend. Um, take care of yourself. Uh, be careful out there, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.